And an old priest said, Speak to us of religion. And he said, Have I spoken this day of aught else? Is not religion all deeds and all reflection? And that which is neither deed nor reflection, but a wonder and a surprise, even springing in the soul, even while the hands hew the stone or tend the loom, who can separate his faith from his actions or his belief from his occupations? Who can spread his hours before him, saying, This is for God, and this for myself, this for my soul, and this other for my body? All your hours are wings that beat through space, from self to self. He who wears his morality, but as his best garment were better naked, the wind and the sun will not uh, will tear no holes in his skin. And he who defines his conduct by ethics and prisons, his songbird in a cage. The freest song comes not through bars and wires, and he to whom worshipping is a window to open, but also to shut, has not yet visited the house of his soul, whose windows are from dawn to dawn, and your life is in your temple and your religion. Whenever you enter into it and take with you your all, take the plow and forge and the mallet and the lute, the things you have fashioned in necessity are for delight. For in every, uh, for in reverie, you cannot rise above your achievements nor fall lower than your failures and take with you all men. For in adoration, you cannot fly higher than their hopes nor humble yourself to lower than your than their despair and if you would know god be not therefore a solver of riddles therefore look about you and you shall see him playing with your children and look into space you shall see him walking in the cloud outstretching his arms in the lightning and descending in the rain you shall see him smiling in flowers then rising and waving his hands in trees now if all that's outside oneself is creation, well, then it's all a vehicle for religion. It's all part of our relationship to the real God, which is you know, beyond this gender thing. But um, because religion is a regulating, but just like yoga, it's a connecting. Tantra, it's a, it's a weaving. Um, but yeah, a relationship with God and the creation. Being religious is not visiting a building once a week. It's not, you know, it's governing your life, how you think about nature itself, um, how you interact with all living beings. forbidding and encouraging.